It all started in India, when more than a hundred thousand years ago, a new species arrived. The color of their skin showed us that they were of African origin and were later called the Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens were very few at the time and lacked speech so they wore necklaces that carry information. For example, a certain combination of beads can mean something and it was these beads that helped us first communicate and form alliances. When they arrived in India, the rest of Asia was already occupied by the Homo erectus, a different species of humans. Fossils of the Homo erectus show that the species lived in numerous habitats across the globe including South Africa, Kenya, Spain, China and Indonesia. They were alive for 1.8 million years but during their later years of life they met the Homo sapiens and that's when they got competition because they weren't just facing a different species but they were going against a species that was smarter than them. Along with these two human species, the famous Neanderthals also came into existence more than a million years after the appearance of the Homo erectus and right before the appearance of the Homo sapiens until they became extinct with the advent of modern humans 28,000 years ago. The Neanderthals were originally dark-skinned but in time their skin grew lighter due to the exposure of climate change. In this video, we are going to compare just the three given human species, but if you would like to know more, check out our channel as we have already named, listed and described more than 10 different types of human species for you. Homo sapiens were obviously the only human species to survive, but between the other two, Homo erectus was the species that lived and survived on earth the longest. Whereas amongst the three, Homo sapiens were obviously the smartest. Evidence show that the Homo sapiens even used fossilized ostrich eggshells to store their water. This was because to survive along with the Homo erectus, they had to learn to anticipate and plan their proper survival. Talking about intelligence, let us look into their brain size. The modern man has a brain size of about 1350 cubic centimeters. The Neanderthals had a brain size of 1500 cubic centimeters and the Homo erectus's brain size was about approximately less than a thousand cubic centimeters. This was mainly because to the known fact that people living in cold habitats always have a bigger brain or cranial size than those living in warmer places. Coming to the body structures. Homo erectus was the first of our relatives to have human-like body proportions with shorter arms and longer legs relative to its torso. Whereas the Neanderthals, although they are also our close relative, their limb and torso proportions were very different from that of the modern humans as well as the Homo erectus. They were much shorter and thicker with longer hands and big flaring nostrils to breathe cold air more easily. With all these differences in cranial and body structure, all three of these species walked in an upright position. And just like the Homo sapiens, both the species lived in small groups or as what we call families. Studies showed that the Homo erectus even cared for the sick and the weak which means they had some sense of empathy. They were also the first human species to systematically track their prey through scent, sight or signs. Now, you must be wondering if they had any separate eating habits. Before we come to that, let me tell you that the Homo erectus and Homo neanderthalensis had bigger teeth than us but smaller than the earlier human species. Homo erectus liked their food red and raw, although they were the first species to use fire. Some information even said that there were traces of vitamin A poisoning due to the excess consumption of animal liver. Coming to the Neanderthals, research shows us that they ate a lot of meat and from some of the starch remains found in their teeth, they may have eaten plants too. Some archaeologists even said that they may have boiled foods in birch bark twisted into trays. Last but the most important aspect of living is how did they protect themselves and how did they hunt. Homo erectus were the first to develop the spear but even though they may have developed the first weapons, they were not able to use it because they lacked the ability to twist their shoulders. So unlike the modern man, their palms face forward instead of hanging sideways. 
Since the Neanderthals came after the Erectors, they already had the spear developed for them, so they only modified them to be more useful. Besides the wooden spear, which they mostly used to stab big animals, they also had hand axes and tools made of sharp stones. Humans though, or the Homo sapiens, came up with the idea of a slingshot. Like they say, there may be more than one spear, but there will always be more stones. These slingshots can be very dangerous and cause serious injuries and can even kill if the stone hits a critical part of the human body or the head. All that information is a lot to take in, right? One crazy fact I would like to add is that some ancient DNA of humans or the modern man showed some trace of Neanderthal DNA which means that the Neanderthals and Homo sapiens did not just coexist but they even mated with each other. So thanks for watching guys, do drop in your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you soon in our next video.